Right, give me some interesting facts about Penang and Georgetown. Okay, I will give you some interesting facts, but then I'm going to tell you one thing that I actually find really interesting about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so in 1786, um, it was the first British outpost alongside Singapore and Malacca, um, and they were collectively known as the Strait Settlement. So it was the first British outpost in Southeast Asia, yeah. Um, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has 1,700 um, historical buildings. Right. Um, it has a very multicultural vibe. With Armenian street and Indians and Chinese and ethnic Malays, yeah. Um, there are, is it like 50 murals, like all the artwork? Yes, famous for its artwork. Yeah. Um, it's famous for its food, isn't it? Yeah, lots of like street food, you can get like lots of different spices, seafood, which we can check out later on. Yep. And? And, I don't know if you find this interesting or not. You know how I really like shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Because on the last shopping trip we went on, I bought five pairs. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> well, Jimmy Choo was born in Penang. And he was he, born here? Yeah. And he was, his daddy taught him how to make shoes and he made his first pair of shoes when he was 11 years old and this is where he made them. Have you ever owned any Jimmy Choo shoes? Why? Are they? Okay. There you go, interesting facts about Penang and its capital, Georgetown. So we're here in Penang, Malaysia, and we're staying at the Hotel Penanga, which is like a it's like an old colonial hotel. Let me show you inside in a second. And it's E today, uh, but hopefully we're gonna go and see some of the sights in the old town. So we're gonna have a wander down there soon, but before that, let's have a look inside the hotel. Look how colonial it looks. There we go. Really nice. There you go. Ready? Let's go. So maybe these are some of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. What makes a World Heritage Site a World Heritage Site? Do you know? I don't, but I think these ones are because of their significance of the uh, ethnic trading that went on back in the day. You see the Chinese influence. In fact, Penang is the only Malaysian state with more ethnic Chinese as their main population. So we're heading to Armenian Street, which was uh, where Armenian traders used to live in the 1920s and 30s, since gone. But it's famous for its street art. We're going to try to find them. But we just found this nice looking moss, look at that. And we're nearing it, but look what we found beforehand. This fantastic Chinese temple. With all the dragons. Looks like we've joined a, a walking tour. Oh, look at these scarves, look at that carving. Well, I'm doing what it says. Right, let's go find some street art. So here we are. I'm guessing Lebu means street. So I think the most famous piece of art is the uh, the bike, the bike one. We have always wanted to get one of these done, but we've never been brave enough. Should we do it? 
I think we should do it. <coughs> How much is it for? Uh, one fish 30. Hello. 30. How long have you been doing this? Uh, around six years. Six years. Yeah. That's me done. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good, 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 good. One more. No, your turn. Mix. No, she's just Irish. She's got no milk. What? You look like mixed Irish and Chinese. Mixed Chinese? No. no. 100% Irish. Very tiny. Look like Asian feel. Oh yeah, Asian size. <laughs> This one look like mixed Chinese. <laughs> yep, Chinese. So how many of these would you do in one day? On normally? One day, yeah. Yeah, how many do you do? Around ten something. Ten? Oh, okay. Yeah, because not enough people here. The final touches. Just makes it look so easy. <laughs> it's not very difficult. So. Oh, you're making it look very easy though, very easy. <laughs> we like it, look at this. We just have a... Yeah. Look, Hong Kong that's more. the finished one with colour. Hong Kong is well done, well done. Really Thank good. you. We love it, we love it. Yeah, we're happy with that. Yeah, yeah. So, we're near the, um, the coast. Nice clock tower. And there's like a, one of the cruise ships behind it. Right, so we've made it to the coast, and look at the size of that ship, the spectrum of the seas. And I think that's the city hall over there. It's bloody hot, isn't it? Bloody hot. What would your gangster name be? Jason Five, Jason Five Jabs? Yeah, face Jason Five Jabs. Smart. Five Jabs is from because I've had five Covid jabs. No, it's actually about five times. By the way, you've got loads of chocolate around your mouth. Do you I? Yeah. <laughs> We've come to Fort Cornwallis. Do we have to pay? Do we pay or free? Uh, no, you have to pay the entrance fee. Here? Yeah. How much is it? 20 per person. 20 per person, okay. And you will get a complimentary a free beer. Oh, free beer? Yeah. Oh, that is definitely what we will do then. Thank you. You hear that? A complimentary free beer. So Fort Cornwallis, the historic cornerstone. Uh, Francis Light, who was the uh, the gaffer, who eventually died of malaria here in 1786. Um, it was the first military base in East the East India Company. There you go, Fort Cornwallis. What an unusual name. Used to be surrounded by a moat. Did it? So there's a gunpowder magazine, but we're not bothered about that. All we're interested in is this, and I'm going to put my face in it. You ready? Hello. Do Didn't look, know these guys had the luxury like, of sunglasses back in the day. Do I look like an officer or uh, one of the just the able seamen? Definitely seamen. Okay, let's go. Right, let's see why this cannon's got its own information board. So this is the Sri Rambai cannon, one of the most famous cannons aboard this ship. And it's facing the Japanese in 1941. The problem though is, it's just so bloody hot. Oh God, I'm boiling. There's a whole lot of rooms like this, but there's nothing actually really in them. This is all that layers. Yep. Highly interesting. But look. Right, we've done the uh, major parts of the fort, so now we're going to try to get our um, free beer and sit here. Is this it? What do you reckon of uh, Fort Cornwall this thing? Would you recommend it? No. Why not? Well, there's not a whole lot to see. I know, and all you get is a beer. And you've just outside of it. At least it's cold. So 
so we finished our drinks and now we're going to go back to the hotel passing the chambers hotel restaurant so what are your what are your first impressions of penang then uh, it's very quiet at the moment because it's obviously eat um i was expecting it to be a bit more lively um expect to see a lot more street like in normal times would there be loads more street food out in the bush yeah or, or do we need to go to like a specific area well i think this evening what we'll do is we'll go to this sky bar thing have a look at that mm -hmm. and then go and try to find some street food yeah so that's what we'll do see you later